Greetings travelers and welcome back to another episode in the Better Questing tutorial series. So to recap, the first two episodes were to cover the absolute basics, give you an idea of what Better Questing is, what it can do, uh, what similarities it has to other questing mods, as well as what differences it has. The last episode, the second one, was getting started on just creating the quest, because that tends to be the most confusing part of Better Questing, is just how do you get started? So this one we're going to cover a few more details as far as, you know, showing quest linking, uh, how to, you know, what the different types of quests that you have for both tasks and rewards, what they can do, some basics. Uh, the next episode after this, the plan is I am going to open up, or the recording will be in my other mod pack, uh, to T Token Craft 3, uh, and I'm going, oh hello Mr. Bunny. Look at you. Uh, anyway, uh, squirrel. Eh. Anyway, I'm uh, going to open up Tolkien Craft 3, and that way I can show you some of the more complicated stuff that I've done as far as what these quests do for the pack, what I've made them do, and the kind of stuff. So let's go ahead you know, and, and to address a concern somebody mentioned in one of the comments about looking at the same screen for the entire episode. I apologize. But unfortunately, because of the nature of better questing, I don't really have much of an option but to do that in order to show you guys how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll notice there's a few differences from the last time. Uh, I've got these quests here, and I'll show you, and we've got a quest here. So I'm going to show you the easiest way that I know to link quests between categories. So we're going to get back into the designer. And what we're going to do is, you see how we have this quest here, we're going to give it a unique name. We're going to just select it, and we're going to hit edit, and we're going to give it a new quest. We're going to call it link quest, just so that it's unique, and there's a reason for this. So now we're going to go here, go back to this screen, add remove quests. Now this is the one we have. This database, this lists every quest you have created in the book start to finish. This will just show you what's associated with the particular category or what it refers to as quest line. So we're going to click this arrow, move it back to show that you can have it over there. I'm going to hit done. Now we're going to go over to tutorial linking, hit edit, click on that, add remove quest, and then go back here. What that'll show you is now both of these are now still linked to this one, but you'll also notice these still require the other quest. So you can basically between categories, this has to be done before you can get to here, and these have to be done before you can get back to here. So it's a good way to, to do it. And that was the easiest way I know of to, to go back and forth. So we're gonna pick this one to edit. Now the biggest thing you'll notice is that there, well, we'll go into the designer. So we're gonna hit edit, tutorial quest, designer. And we're going to do start with the icon. This is to select the picture. By default, everything starts with another star. And this one, you'll notice I have a slime block. I just randomly chose. Anybody that's familiar with NEI or JEI, you'll be familiar with this layout. And it works very much the same. Uh, and the more mods you have, you can still list through everything in there. And it searches very much like those. Now, if you have special items you've created, you can even use those in here. You just, if they're in your inventory, you click on it and it'll make that as the, the icon. Uh, that also comes into play with your rewards, which we will show here. Oh, let me get back out of here. So your rewards, and we'll cover rewards first. So experience reward is just that. Give them a certain amount of experience. Uh, this compared to, say, another task that I'll show you, uh, could be used to really kind of set up for a RPG progression of sorts where you unlock certain things as you get to a certain level um, So that you know that's the experience and you can do experience or levels so get out here so you can you tell it, is it levels? so you give them one level or do you give them one experience so, you know, that's up to you on how to do that. And you'll see the different change here, one experience or one L for level. Uh, the other words, items, just that. Give them an item. 
By default, it'll start as you can do an item, an object, a list, entity, give them a mob, uh, give them a fluid, uh, just give them some kind of random text on the screen or a number. It's up to you. Uh, most often, you're probably going to use item. Uh, and by default, they all start out as stone, but you can go through and pick whatever and the number. You can say whether it's word dictionary or not. Uh, again, this is where if you have specially created like NBT with say you've done item names and, and lore or some other random effect and that's in your inventory, you just click on that and that will store the NBT. And it does a very good job of it actually. Uh, and I'll show you in, in the next episode, there's a couple items that I created with special NBT that's not normal. I had to go in and use an NBT editor to add the, the NBT item. Uh, so that way there was a purpose behind that, but basically it stores it just fine Scoreboard I'm not going to go into the I the ideas of scoreboards But this is going to be You know if you want to learn about scoreboards how they work. There are plenty of video tutorials out there as well as uh, Plenty of wikis that go into it, but you know you give them say you have a, a very complex scoreboard system you could use this as a, a, you know, they do one thing and this adds to that scoreboard. Uh, and relative, what that basically represented is if they have two as a score and it's relative, it'll add one more. If you have some of the other choices, it's if it's one, it'll make it two. If it's two, it stays two. If it's three, it'll make it two. Uh, choice, same thing as item, but they're given a choice. You have a choice of one of X number of items, however many you want to do. Command. Do a command block, you know, uh, this works very much. You can have it as a player or as a regular command block. So, you know, anything you could put in a command block, you can put here. All right. Now for tasks, there's a lot more. Now the scoreboard task is very similar to the reward. Only this one is it detects for when they've hit a certain score. The checkbox, literally just that they, they, there's a literally, there'll be a, a box on the screen. They click. It's done. A uh, good use for that would potentially be maybe this first quest is a description of the pack, how to do things, how to how to work things, and by clicking this box, that means that you've read it and you're good. That's it. Um, go back here. Uh, locate a fluid. It's similar to the item, you know, the re which is retrieval. Bring X amount of fluid or X amount of blocks. To complete the quest location coordinates on the screen now the one thing i do like about this is it is very nice you know the, the compass a little iffy myself i found but once you enter coordinates it'll show you specifically what you've named the location what dimension it's in it'll give you the xyz coordinates and it'll even tell you how far away it is now you can hide some of that as part of the extra so if you go location you can do here how far away tell them how far away they are from the quest uh, and how far away it is to complete as I mean uh, visible whether or not it shows you the range or the coordinates uh, hide info you know hide info means does just show you you have to go to a location but nothing else uh, hunt that's the mob one how many monsters do you want the player to kill how many how many cows how many whatever that's the the mob one Block break, how many blocks do they break? You know, you want to have them chop down 15 oak trees and, you know, it'll track each block from those oak trees. And, you know, you could always do an average there, five blocks per oak tree. Uh, crafting, you need to craft a bucket. You need to craft a crafting table. You know, that's pretty self supporting uh, Meeting, go find this mob. Now, you know, it's different than hunt because you're not killing. It's, you're literally just going to go meet a specific mob, you know. Go find a village with a farmer and see the farmer. Uh, scoreboard, we've already talked about that. So requirements. Now requirements, this is going to list any quests that are required to complete before this one can com be completed. Right now, this is our first one, so it doesn't. If we were in either the link quest or this tutorial quest, it would show that, or I mean, uh, the new quest up here, the link quest, it would show that we had, you know, other quests here that need to be completed before you can get to those. That's kind of the whole point on that. Uh, you can also add a quest in there, but then you have to go in and order it. Logic. 
uh, we'll show it just from this screen here. So this is an and. So it needs that quest that's on the other category before this will go. This one needs both of these before this will be available to complete. That's literally all it is. Oh, and I did that. I do that a lot, honestly. Uh, go in here. Or, but you have and, nand, which is not and. Or and not or and you know so forth if you know circuits and logic that's what these are uh, or obviously is any of those two quests complete allow you to go to the next one show always hidden that means nobody sees it it's in the background they don't even know it's there to complete you usually set something like that up maybe you want to have a hidden trigger for another quest uh, you want to have a scoreboard thing and that comes there's more stuff to do on this that makes that relevant Unlocked will always show as if it was an unlock quest uh, or normal. Advanced, this is where we get into, and I'll show you. So down here, you can do uh, auto claim, which means once you meet the requirements, it auto claims and, and gets whatever the reward is. Uh, is silent means that the players won't even know it was finished so this goes into good play with the the hidden quest because you could set up where maybe you want a player once they've completed a certain task to get teleported to the nether maybe so you could have it auto claim and silent which means they don't know that it's triggered but they auto claim and throws that command block quest to teleport them wherever you did uh, that's kind of where you would do i mean sure there's other ways but that's the one i most commonly use repeat you know whether it doesn't repeat or if it does how often between repeats uh, whether or not this could be shared as a team uh, single party or single reward in other words only one player can claim it uh, is main that's what this icon means right here we go back here uh, one more that's the main quest if you go back and see I do it every time if you go here and you do the same thing here as the GUI. False turns it back into that. Uh, and then true turns it back into that castle looking one. The advanced also has where you can get a list of all the different quests and there's some extra stuff you can change in there. Uh, I don't really get into that. I'm a GUI man. So I prefer to do things from the push button to make it work. Uh, if you really want to dig down into this quest book after you get familiar with it you're more than welcome and funway guy is really good about answering questions if you have them uh he's got his twitter he's got his github he's actually in my uh discord which the link is in the description uh you can come and ask him questions there uh reward same thing as this it's just a more detailed list of the rewards you got and pre it we've already covered that's what you have to complete in order to get this done uh now, so the next episode, what we're going to do is we'll cover some of the more hidden features like the background image and stuff. Uh, we'll cover some of the features like I was talking about with the hidden quest triggering other things and, and get into some of the more general stuff with scoreboards. Because again, if you want to learn about scoreboards and how to use them, there are other tutorials for people that understand it way better than I do. Most of what I have accomplished, while I'm very proud of what I've accomplished, it took me a long time. And at this stage, because how far I've gotten into my mod pack, a lot of it's copy and paste, I'll be honest, because it's just a lot of work to remember and figure out, just like command blocks. Um, but we'll show that. Uh, we'll also get into maybe some of the changing the opening image here uh they does have themes i don't remember if i covered that in the first episode but by default these are the themes that it comes with he has a couple of others that you can download and install uh, he also has information on his wiki at github on what uh, how to create your own theme uh, but i think that's going to be it for today thank you guys for coming by i really hope that the the series is helping you guys out as much as I'm planning. Uh, it took me a while to come out with this because I really wanted to feel comfortable with how better questing works because there was a bit of a learning curve, especially after having come off of hardcore questing mode. This was way different, but I'm glad that I've gotten to a point where I can show you guys how to use it because it really is one of the best quest book mods I've found out there. Um, you know, 
I just hope that this this helps you guys. So you know, as always, I you know, social media links are down in the description. Love to talk to you guys on Discord. I'm there most of the time. Uh, I do have to sleep, believe it or not. But again, social links are down in the description. Come say hi, Facebook, Twitter, you name it. But that's going to be all for today. Look forward to the next episode, and you guys all have a great day.